hello Tony Placido and our Poets and Pints crew. Thank you very much for the invitation to read a little poem for you. Um, this poem is a challenge on uh, where inspiration comes from. In, in these days of quarantine, uh, quite often we take inspiration where we can find it, I think. <clears throat> I'm going to start. The poem is called Last Man Out. Dolly was the first. Well, she and the men who away never to return. She and the flu of 19. The men lost to war, to the fish. And now sun's gone too, chasing work away south or to the mainland. Unlike their fathers before them, not now content to go down in ill-tempered seas. Not much of a way to grind out a living. Crofter, postman, occasional hand at the Rona light of Arnish now, by way of Glasgow, a tyke, I, a race man, a wife and bairns to see after, to raise beneath these northern lights. You turn to your kin when things need a doing, and seventy pounds paid out by the council sees one a long way to making ends meet, even when split with a brother. It was the first time we set our hand to road work. Three winters it took, the laying down from Toron to Flata. That was 56, and work only begun, ending too soon in a farmer's stony field. Not even voices raised at the council gathering could get it going again, could see it to its conclusion, to a conclusion, more suitable for those craving a way out and the months, all the years even, no clear end to a road run out of steam, its proper end, abandoned to languish, unfinished. No more will they pay, not even to lay one further inch, let alone the remaining one and three quarter miles. We are told that most everyone now has access already, everyone who wants it, access to the south to the shops and the ferry that runs weakly out and back again. No more funds, we are told tersely, no grants to be had. This is the end of it, of the discussion, of the road. In my prime, I thought about Australia, Patagonia, of the sea and the going to it. But really, those were just fancies, and there's plenty for a man right here close to home. A book. A manual, really. Road making and maintenance, a practical treatise for engineers, surveyors, and others by Thomas Aiken. Come only today by ferry. Left to wait at the Queen's Post for me to make my way back down to whatever it mean, by whatever means I see fit. To cross the miles from one end to the other of the aisle. To retrieve, along with beans and salted shank, Skein a fabric for my wife, a handful of letters, a smattering, really, of what there used to be. For me to carry back north, back home, to the far end, past where the road I once helped build ends, nearly two miles shy of its rightful ending. Forty families stick it out to remain, to work the sea and the stony fields, knowing full well the cost of saying, all, all the while, pondering the leaving. Here, when I'm not turning earth or pulling up fish, I sit of an evening by peaty fires, thumb these pages that made the trip all this way. Think upon what's written here. Maybe the best half crown I've ever spent. What will happen if I don't? If and I do? A beginning of an end? Postponed, perhaps, by effort of mine, can I some way provide a reason for those down there who, happening upon some sense, seek to come up here? A shovel, a pick, and a wheelbarrow, all I have to finish the task at hand. Explosives and a driller left behind from some <laughs> department, and ten years more of my life, that is all. Perhaps to die and topple over into my barrow's trowel easy enough than for one that remains, one last wife, 
to wheel me down a completed road, to greet a hearse, come to carry me bound, to carry me back to the ground. After I've gone, perhaps they'll pave my work, post a sign, a marker for those who no longer go or come with my name, Callum McLeod, forever thereafter, Callum's Road. A final two miles of tarmac, escorting everyone out, leaving only birds and selkies to abide this stone shore, this sea and sky. My name's Will Latham. Thank you again for letting me tune in with you guys, and uh, be safe.